Yes, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, hi there. Uh, I was just admiring the nice Norwegian winter and uh, enjoying some cocoa. My name is Trenton Schultz, and I'm a senior software engineer here at Qt Software. You know, actually, thinking about cocoa kind of reminds me of development on Mac OS X. Um, you see, back in the day when uh, Mac OS X was first being introduced, there were a couple ways you could be using or you could develop your application for Mac OS X. You could develop it using Carbon or using Cocoa. And naturally, just listening to the names, it's obvious which one you're going to use. Carbon! Well, maybe not. Uh, but anyway, for Qt 4.5, we've done the extra dirty work for you and ported Qt to also run on top of Cocoa. So I'd like to take a couple of minutes and show you some uh, demonstrations of this. All right, let's start by building the beta from source. Uh, for this beta, you actually do, if you want to have Cocoa support, you do have to build from source since the binary package is still uh, carbon only. Uh, but you just download it from the same place you would get the uh, the other pack the binary package, so it's not that difficult. I've already taken the time to uh, download the new package, and um, and we we have it now un unarchived. And I'm just going to run configure to set everything up. I'm first going to give it a prefix to install it into a location where I plan on dealing with it. Uh, 4.5 minus Cocoa 64. And since um, we want this to be a 64-bit version of the build, uh, we need to pass the specific architecture that we're targeting. Uh, for this example, I am passing the Intel architecture. So x86 underscore 64. Uh, and that's basically it. So we just start the configure process, uh, agree to the licensing terms, and just uh, wait for QMake to build and for the rest of the configure process to start. That's simply how it goes. Well, I hope your last couple of minutes were as productive for you as they were for me. Uh, I now have a built uh, beta using Coco 64-bit. Uh, I just want to show a couple of demos off. So first, let's take a look at the browser demo that's included with Qt uh, since 4.4. And I'll just run the file command here on the actual browser. And you'll see, as it says here, that it is actually a Mach O 64-bit executable for x86-64. Now, when I was configuring Qt, I could have specified more architectures, uh, and we could have had a 32-bit uh, binary and 64-bit binary for both Intel and PowerPC. And just to kind of prove that this stuff works, we're going to run the browser demo. And as you can see, sure enough, it does indeed load. If I click on the Q Quarterly page, it'll take me to Q Quarterly. And this kind of shows the whole package here that you have WebKit working, you have the network, network module working, and you also have the GUI module working. So this is just to kind of show how everything uh, works together. And, you know, if you look, it's not really that much different than uh, this demo browser that was written for 4.4. Uh, there's a couple more things. We have some new tabs and stuff, but I mean, overall, it's really not that much different, and that's kind of the point. Um, you can compile your Qt application, and it should just kind of work, regardless of if you were on before using 32-bit and now are on 64-bit. Now, I know for some people that may not be the most exciting thing in the world, so I'll talk about something else. Um, we did a lot more Q work uh, in Qt 4.5 to be a much better citizen on the desktop. And you can now use, um, and since now that we can use Cocoa, that means that you can use a lot of new technologies that are available on Mac OS X right in your applications. So let's take a look at this uh, Cocoa Slides example that was 
uh, shipped with Apple uh, before. This is a, a just a quick uh, example of using core animation. There's a layout uh, combo down here, and I can choose different things, and it will move to these. There's also a slider over here that has the amount of time it takes, and I can adjust the slider and change the time it takes for these things to, to slide. Um, if I want to be all clever, I can also turn on shadows and a, a core image background. Now, this is all just standard uh, Coco stuff. Um, and maybe you just want to kind of show stuff off. And you can certainly uh, get to this using Qt. But it might be cool if you just want to do a quick demo just to take what's shown here, this, this hierarchy uh, of, of the slides and, and stuff, and just shove it into uh, Qt. With uh, Qt 4.5, we added a new class that's called uh, QMac Coco Container, and this lets you just take a um, take a class that exists in uh, Coco, and you can just insert it into a hierarchy for Qt. So what I'm going to show off here is we have, of course, our window that. Uh, I'm going to open it up in Designer here. And so you have a window, and we're going to put the uh, Coco thing right here in the middle. And I have here, of course, my uh, Q check boxes, Q combo boxes, and a Q slider, just to kind of get the basic set up for the, um, for the window. So let's just close this up and give it a go. And as you can see, it built and everything, and we now have this hierarchy included inside of Qt. I can click on the various uh, radio buttons down here and we can switch between the various animation things just like you could in the other example. Uh, you can also of course adjust the slider if you want your things to be really slow or if you want them to be really fast you can do it you know we can move it down quite low here and get it moving like quite fast and of course you can turn on the shadows and the quartz composer background. So that's one of those really cool things now. Uh, you can take a look at QMAC Coco View container in the documentation and find out more about this. So we've taken a quick look at the uh, 4 or 5 Coco port and seen some of the things that it can do. I urge you to download the new beta and try out the Coco port. Give it a spin. Let us know how it works. Um, remember, it's the easiest way to take your Mac OS X application from 32-bit to 64-bit. Just do a recompile. And also, if you're using your Qt application and want to take advantage of more Apple technologies, it's much easier to do it with Qt 4.5 than it ever was before. And if you don't like using Cocoa, that's okay. You can, uh, you can still use Qt with Carbon, and it's still possible to build with that. In fact, that's the default. While traditional Mac OS X development typically has to happen in Carbon or Cocoa, we here at Qt Software say, no way, do it in both. Mmm, tastes great.